welcome to another episode of Guide to Georgia Outdoors. Me and Blake are out in beautiful Savannah. As you can tell with the oak trees and everything. We are doing a little deer hunting today, if you want to call it that. I, I have a friend that has a hookup in Savannah, Alahope area, and uh, it's in some homes and stuff, and these deer are a little run rampant. So he's got all the necessary permits, all the sign permission slips, all the, he's talked to the DNR, which is perfectly legal for us to do this. So we're gonna come out. I've got the bow in hand today. We're gonna try to take, I've got four arrows. So if I can take four deer home, that's what we're gonna do. You know, we don't like to cause controversy, but this is legal. There are definitely YouTubers in Georgia that are getting 100,000 views doing this same thing up in Atlanta. 190 um, inch deer. We just don't have big deer on the coast like that. That's so right. That's hopefully, right. I don't want to get the cart before the horse, but hopefully we get some deer this afternoon. If I can shoot straight. If he can shoot straight. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you're like, well, where are these deer coming from? Trust me, you'll see in a little while. It's crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. People are running. That dude's jogging. He's getting his cardio in today. This does not. This is like the place you'd be getting dressed to leave to go hunting. That's right. Uh, you got a guy cutting grass right here. <laughs> uh, he's got a zero turn lawnmower for a yard that I could push in about 15 <laughs> minutes. We got the whole lawn care crew <laughs> out here. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm calling John and Josh crazy. Um, John is the one who's got his permission to hunt in here and he said he's killed so many deer in here and his stand is just literally right behind me. There is a guy jogging, there is a guy raking, <laughs> raking his yard, there's a whole lawn care crew. If this works, I'll be in shock. The truck is going to be about 30 yards from where we're <laughs> sitting in the deer stand. So I'm not, I'm a little skeptical right now, I'm just going to be honest. So maybe, maybe this will work out. Some people wonder why I'm doing all this. Why do you need a range finder? I'm just really doing it to look good. I got corn here and corn there, and they'll be coming from out of this marsh. What this is, you got a house there. It's, got, it's, it's a subdivision. Homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> you got a what you got is the homeowner that that lives here. Um, he lives the back of his yard is actually butts up to the marsh itself and docks that goes you know that accesses the river then you got this house here his property runs kind of down side of this property but what you have is you got a big block of woods right here that nobody lives in and you're saying this this guy rake in the lawnmowers they don't have they still come yeah yeah you want that i'm telling you about this you've never had nothing like this in your life i've been in this stand right here this portion of the yard right here i've had as high as 10 to 12 does in this yard and those people in that house would have lights on. They'd be walking around in there talking, coming out in the yard with the dogs, and the deer would be standing there looking through the bushes at them. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doubting this, but I am skeptical. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's get in the We're gonna get in. Let's get in. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay. That's a good deer. I've had him early season. Oh yeah, he's he's right here where we're at. He's taking care of business. Actually, that right there. Okay. That palm tree. Mm-hmm. He was right beside that palm tree. That's 18 steps from the on. <laughs> That's him right there. That was standing right there. What's up? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing a lot as we go. We're literally in somebody's driveway. Look over there. There's my truck. You got the man's boat sitting right here. And we're in a deer stand. Got the owner talking at his house no more than 75 yards away. I can hear every word he's saying. And we're gonna probably shoot a deer tonight. This is nuts.
Vitals, right? Yeah. Right through the back. Had to go through a good part. Yeah, huh? Back up again. That was fun. We got a guy blowing over here. He's been blowing for the past hour. I don't know what he's blowing, but he's getting his money worth. The two deer, all of a sudden, two dogs started barking. I looked at Blake and I said, I bet you that's deer coming. And he was like, yeah, because with these people walking and walking their dogs, no dogs had barked. So the dogs kind of told us the deer were coming. I put it right on one of them shoulder blades, right behind the vertebrae, left of the vertebrae. Let the air fly, baby. So hit her good. We think we think we made a good shot. So we're gonna we're gonna let her sit. We're gonna stay in here until dark and see if anything else pops out. But that was fun. That's. You don't have this kind of. My truck is literally 20 yards. I can hear. I can hear my phone ringing in the truck. This is crazy. Deer come right to us, man. I mean, 10 yard shot. That's pushing it. We're like seven. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Seven yard shot. <laughs> we'll take them how we get them. I'll take them how we get them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of blood. Right here. Yeah, I got a pretty good bit on that fire straw. Right here. It's pumping pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Wasn't a bad shot. Mm -mm. No. Uh -huh. Yep. So you see what we've got with working working with this place out here is a lot of these homeowners have it's got to the place where they eat so much of their shrubbery. Um, they eating out of the bird feeders. They tearing up the yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's they they scrapes this big that they actually have killed the grass. They've told the grass lap up pawing and so these homeowners are just getting tired of it they hook their shrubbery they're killing the shrubbery uh they've spent money putting up fence trying to keep it off so whenever i found out about it um i actually got a hold of the local dnr agent which i'm actually good friends with and i uh, talked to him about it he said no he said as long as you get uh, permission slips you uh you're good to go so uh, i've actually had him meet me out here and he's met some of the homeowners and um and he said everything we're doing is is uh, completely legit. As a matter of fact, it's more, this is more of a, almost a big conservative issue because, conservation issue because of the fact that these deer are struggling to even have places, something to eat. Some of the deer that we've killed out here have not been that healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a lot of good fat on them uh, because they just don't have a lot to eat from. The other good thing too is we don't have very far to drag the deer. You know, what are we like? Thirty yards from somebody's bedroom window? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I think I, they just got finished taking a shower. Yeah, yeah so. there's there's their house and there's <laughs> the, the deer. And and for the sake of the homeowner's privacy, that, that's why we're not saying exactly where yeah. it's at that's an right. address. That's right. Uh, good people, but um, 
they will be real quick to tell somebody if they show up in their driveway to leave. Cause <laughs> so don't show up. No, no, Josh don't right. show up because you won't like what they say. That's right. Uh, you got to drag him out, Josh. I'll drag. I guarantee you. It's not going to be that hard. If you struggle with that one, we're going to have issues. <laughs> How about a light? You want to help me with a light? All right, we are back at Josh's house. He is uh, starting to clean the deer. Just an awesome day of hunting, if that's what you want to call it. Something I've definitely never done before. But um, John, he didn't get to hunt this afternoon, but he has been hunting and filming his hunts all year. So this next footage is his. says 60 hours or so from my stand. You're gonna have some extra footage from John. He's 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 been out here all season doing this, and uh, he's got some good footage. So we're gonna add that into this footage. I tell you, man, guide the Georgia outdoors. This is this is what we do. And listen, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. We don't care if it's a bad comment. We're still gonna leave a comment. So, but I'm gonna end it with this. I had a blast. Thank you, John for everything Anytime. man that was awesome and uh this has been the unofficial no doubt incomplete guide to georgia outdoors